Hi, in this video we will see how to make a line following robo. So for this we need some components. Uh, screwdriver, uh, this is chassis and uh, caster wheel, two wheels and uh, two motors, two IR sensor, this is also called as proximity sensors. and a uh, few hardware components like this is called a uh, stud uh, and this one is called spacer and a breadboard and uh, uh, IC called ULN 2003 this is just a sound pair of transistors IC so let's see uh, how to make this let's see how to assemble these components and we have to first fix the motor here and the motor comes with a so just like this, we have to fix this and how to insert the wires like this and near the motor. Take the wire out like this. Now fix the wheel. Fix another wheel on this side. Be careful when you are using the screw because it can slip some times. That's it. So the assembly parts of the mechanical components are over. Let's see how the sensor works. So this is a uh, IR LED you can see the visible light with the help of camera this uh, IR uh, rays are not um, visible to the you human see eye. the rays in a violet rays okay it's indicating that IR uh, LED is emitting your uh, IR rays and this is photodiode or IR receiver so see here when there is no obstacle uh, the IR rays are reflecting and there is no uh, reflecting back so this is not receiving any uh, IR rays so whenever there is an obstacle here the IR rays are emitted back and uh, the receiver start to receive the rays so it starts to give the output so whenever there is an obstacle here this uh, whole sensor produces a 5 volt as a output so this is a uh, output uh, sensor pin so you can see here there is a uh, 3 pins here one is for the ground input and uh, another is for the uh, battery input and this one is for uh, output let's see how to connect the sensors to our robo first we need to have two letters that's it and with the help of stud just need to That's it. So we have connected the sensor to our robot. 
see how to connect the another sensor. Use this turn to connect here. And that's it. So we have fixed the center and you can tie it here like this. So this will look good. You can do the same on the other side. So it also picks a sensor in a stable position. So yeah connected the sensors. Now we move on to connect our IC to this board. So this is the ULN 2003 IC and uh, these are the input pins. So seven input pins and this side we have seven output pins. This one is the ground. Uh, we have to connect this pin to the ground and here uh, this pin to the power supply uh, we have to give a uh, 5 volt to this pin and uh, we going to con connect the first sensor and the first motor here the first sensor input will be given to the first pin and the uh, output is going to given to the first motor here um, so this is the second pin a uh, second uh, input is going to given into this pin and this pin is going to connect with the second motor have connected uh, jumpers wires to all the pins mm, so you can see have connected jumper wires to all the pins so this is also called as a breadboard wire so you can also connect like this or you can otherwise you can use this standard strip of wires this is called a solid wire so you can use this for a breadboard connection now let's see how so for the first uh, for the first sensor we have to connect the first motor to this so first sensor output is this one I'm connecting to th this to the first pin and uh, the first uh, motors one pin I'm connecting to the first output pin and the second sensor so the second sensor output so this is the second sensor output I'm connecting to the second pin so here I'm connecting the second motor to the second pin output that's it so we have to we have we have left the uh, the plus and minus voltage here and even in for the IC we have left the <coughs> ground and the plus voltage here so we will connect the pluses to this one the plus sensor to this here the minus to here the first sensor minus to here then the first sensor plus here the motor plus pin has to be here so I don't have the spaces to connect here so I'm taking connection from there
I'm using one of the connection to here. That's it. So we have finished the connection. Let's see from here. The first sensor pin, the second sensor pin, and the motor, first motor, and the second motor. And uh, this is uh, negative voltage, and this is positive voltage. Now we will connect the battery snap. So this is battery snap. The plus to here, and then the minus pin to here, to the IC minus. Let's connect the battery and check the performance. <clears throat> uh, it's moving really fast. This is very simple and uh, easy to do. Let's check the performance on the outside. 